yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, I, I think this Bronigal has taken a couple matches off in the past couple weeks, so um, that's big to have him back in the lineup. He's a really tough wrestler, and Fronte in, immediately on an attack. Fronte, true freshman. Yep. David Ferrante. Illinois grabs that early takedown over Ferrant, uh, excuse me, over Bronigal. So Danny Bronigal, as you mentioned, Micah, has been out the past couple weeks. Luke Odom had been filling his place, the talented first year from Edwardsville, Illinois. Danny yeah. Bronigal from Belleville, Illinois. So a couple of in-state guys in this in-state rivalry. Yeah, and these Bronigals are real tough from, from Southern Illinois. And, you know, bringing three of them to the party is really strengthening this Illinois lineup. And I know they got to be really happy to have the Bronigal brothers in Champaign. Uh, tough kids, really tough kids. You know, really good at all styles of wrestling. And, you know, it'll be it'll be a good good test for David Fronte as a true freshman to come in here and, and uh, wrestle Danny Bronigal in Evanston, Illinois. So a couple of two true first years in a row. Max Mayfield got the win, the decision victory over Malagusis. Ferrante looking for the same or possibly more against Danny Bronigal. In theory, a huge upset if Ferrante wins. But to be frank, we don't know too much about David Ferrante. This is only his fifth match ever in college wrestling. He's coming, and, yeah, yeah, go ahead. You, you know, you, you hit it right on the head. Fronte is an extremely talented, extremely strong kid. Um, he's just a true freshman, right? So um, he's learning as he goes, and, and I think that, you know, he would like back a couple of matches he had, but he's using each one of them as a learning experience. And you see him get better over time. He's right back in on that single, which he finished the first time. We'll see if he can finish it a second time. But incredible shot by Ferrante. And, again, Danny Bronigal is a really tough wrestler, so to see those two takedowns in a row is... is is a great sign for Northwestern wrestling fans um, as we see David Fronte moving forward. And Eric Bilek also at 165 pounds is another tough kid, so if, you know the future looks really good for Northwestern here at this weight. Yeah, they round things out with Anka Inkman Dock at 165 for the Wildcats. A 4-1 lead here for Ferrante. Now, I don't want to make any excuses and act like Ferrante is not a great wrestler, but it looks like Bronigal's, had, Bronigal's got a little bit of rust. Uh, this is his first official match in a couple weeks now. So both guys go out of bounds. Do you see that, or do you think this is just Ferrante just taking this aggressively over Bronigal? Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's a mix of, of both those. You know, you never know how that injury, whatever was was bugging him, affected him. Um, you also can tell, you know, he's kind of been caught off guard with Fronte shot here, and that could be just, you know, um, a lack of film or, or just you know not expecting it, or a little bit of the rust, like you said. But either way, a deep shot by Bronigal and a great job here by Ferrante to, to try to sit the corner and get the two point takedown off Bronigal's shot. Bronte really stretching out those legs here in this neutral position, trying to get over on top of Bronigo, and he can't do it. Bronigo's got a strong hold of that right knee of Ferrante. Yeah, and he just had to break that grip there and couldn't do it. And, you know, like you see, these Bronigo brothers are really gritty, really tough, and they're not going to give you that too. You know, you're going to have to take it from them. So um, Ferrante's going to have to get back in on that shot. He's taken a couple times, real deep, finished real well, because Bronigo's going to come at him here. And what you'll notice um, with these these Bronigo brothers, I think the next one we'll see at 184 pounds, is um, they don't shoot 100 times, but they ch pick and choose their times that they're going to shoot, and they usually score. So they're, they're tough wrestlers. Danny Bronigo has a twin, Zach Bronigo at 184. We'll see him in a couple matches from now. But in the here and now, we've got Ferrante standing or sitting on top of Bronigo. We'll go back to that backpack metaphor for Ante Strong, like glue on Bronigal. But look at the way Bronigal just kind of yeah. squatting for Ante up in the air. Yeah, it looks like he's locked up a cradle here, um, which usually goes for some big points. But, um, you know, it's going to be tough to knock over the strong base of Danny Bronigal. Yeah, did any, they called the neutral there, but even though Ferrante had that cradle, it was Bronigal who was showing his strength and kind of getting up. Do you think either guy had the advantage? Absolutely no. I, I think that, you know, it was going to be really tough. I think Bronigal was very comfortable there in that tripod position um, where he was on just his, just his hands and his toes. Um, I think he was very comfortable there. It's a, it's a common freestyle and Greco position as well. 
um, which I know the Braunungo brothers do a lot of and has some success in. And they do a lot of that stuff down there um, in Champaign, and, you know, they're tough at it. So that tripod position is one that they're strong in. We're going to see gas tanks become important here too as well, right? Uh, Frante's up by a couple takedowns, but, you know, he's got to keep it running, keep it moving, keep the gas tank going. Yeah, Veronico has a deep gas tank as he is able to get around and take the lead with a two-point takedown. Now an escape there for Ferrante. Yeah, we're tied up here. We're tied up in minute 40 of riding time, um, which, you know, could be a huge factor in this match, but we're tied up here at 5-5. Five, five. And right now, you're seeing Bronigal be the aggressor, right? And it's paying off for him. And Bronte, if he wants to, you know, continue to score here, he's really got to get back to his offense. Danny Bronigal showing why he was a 2020 All-American. Honorable mention All-American by the NWCA and an NCAA qualifier. Danny Bronigal was also sixth in the Big Ten Championships. Possibly showing a little bit of Matt Rust early. He hadn't competed since January the 17th against Wisconsin. Those are huge back points. Huge back points at the end of a period. And the end of periods, you know, as, as you'll see, when you get to really high level matches, they just become so important. And, you know, getting those two back points at the end of that period is, is everything for, for Bronigal going forward in this third period. Yeah, so two point back points make it nine to five. This was a five to one lead for Ferrante, if I'm not mistaken. And Bronigal now on top at the start of the third period, looking to tick that riding time down. It was in Ferrante's favor, now in neither person's favor. And good, good mat awareness by Bronigal to let Ferrante up right as the riding time goes under a minute. And there's the two. Now, what was, the, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Mike. No, a lot, a lot of muscle here from those two. You saw Bronigal try to snap him down, but in the process, he kind of snapped him into his legs, but uh, Fronte wasn't able to get the two, and Bronigal just went behind him, just like you see there. And, you know, really what you're seeing is Bronigal putting it on him. You know, he's putting it on him and, and um, really causing, causing some havoc on the mat, and I think that first period kind of angered him a little bit. And, you know, Fronte's got to keep attacking, you know. Um, his gas tank kind of wearing down, as you can see, and Bronigal just looks like it's, not even half empty. Yeah, Bronigal has gotten stronger every single period. Now with 15 after a few takedowns, he just gives up an, another escape for Ferrante. But this, these last two periods have been all Danny Bronigal after Ferrante started out strong, kind of punched Bronigal in the mouth. Bronigal did not like that very much. He's showing why he's an All-American taking down Ferrante at 17 to nine in major decision territory. Yeah, and what you're seeing here is a lot of stall calls being called on Ferrante. And what you're seeing is, is you know, one gas tank is a little stronger than the other right now. And, you know, I think as the season progresses and uh, true freshman David Ferrante gets a little bit more experience, um, his gas tank will expand and it'll get better. And, you know, these guys will for sure see each other um, again at the Big Tens. And, Pretty impressive what Barnacle's um, doing here. You know, I know Fronte's a true freshman, but he's tough, and as we saw in the first period, he's, he's dangerous, but. An escape for Ferrante, and good job by Ferrante, still staying aggressive, even down by eight points, trying to turn this into regular decision territory. But you mentioned that gas tank of Danny Bronicle. He's just so powerful. He, he's like a, a truck. He just does not stop. His gas is always on pedal to the metal how many car metaphors can i make here micah no they're they're, they're tough man they are tough as nails and you'll see that at 184 too it'll be another um illinois illinois matchup as you've seen a lot today and um, good job good job at the end there by fronte if you can take little wins from that match is you know not giving up a tech fall that, that that's big big